Hey guys, today is New Year's Eve for 2020, and uh, I'm going to go over how to set up the MSD Pro 600. Uh, this is a, a demonstration of a conversion from a, uh, a smart coil setup to a Pro 600. So um, you've already, I'm assuming you've already watched the other videos on how to wire it and whatnot, so we'll just get right into it. Uh, go into your ignition type. And uh, under custom, hit configure. Output setup, you're going to change this over here to MSD Pro 600 8. You, uh, you want to enable an ignition power table. So we'll use RPM versus map. If we go over here, now it's, uh, it's going to look a lot like your dwell table that you had with smart coils or you know truck coils or whatever you're using. Um, same concept here. You know, we turn them down when we're driving around town we turn them up when we're racing so i'm going to make a maximum rpm of 9,000, and then i'm going to make a maximum amount of boost at 60 psi uh, this is a small block forward single turbo deal so um you know obviously scale this stuff to uh <clears throat> to your liking so i'm just going to try to get a little bit of uh, uh linearity here across your your axes so at idle and uh, in cruise, we don't need a lot of ignition power. So what I typically do is I leave this area right here at 30%. And um, and if we're in boost, I want I want power. Like I want all the power this thing's got. So uh, with this car, say it's going to leave around 10 psi. So I want 100% power at 10 pounds of boost. And again, this is you you do whatever you want with this. This is you know con configure this however you'd like. Uh, and then at, um, let's just say, 3,600 and up, uh, we want 100%. This is a race car, so it doesn't really much matter um, with this deal because it doesn't run long enough. I'm going to highlight these. I'm going to right-click. I'm going to hit fill column values. I'm assuming you've watched some of my other videos and you've seen how to do all these little shortcuts and all the little right-clicks and what you, whatnot that you can do. So that's really all there is to setting up the Pro 600 from uh, your your smart coil setup. Now, one of the added features of a Pro 600 is a lot of the diagnostic is available now. Uh, so, let's I'm going to show you how to set up a couple of these. Let's go to the IO ICF, and, uh, and what I'm going to do is just go out here to uh, 41 through 60, and I'm going to call. What what we're going to do is we're going to enable an input. The type is going to be CAN, and then we're going to click configure. So the CAN setting, the CAN device, we've got an MSD Pro 600, the CAN channel. Um, you, you pick whatever channel you want here. So the, the ones that I typically look for are efficiency. Um, and then uh, I like to monitor all this stuff too, just so it kind of give you an idea of if you're going to have a problem, um, you know, in the future. So converter voltage, this is on CAN bus one in this car. and then Sensor settings, raw, it's all pre-populated. So this is all pre-populated for you. You don't have to, you know, change anything on uh, on this. So um, let's throw another one in here. Thing can, oh, we got to rename this one. So this one was converter voltage. So let's name it converter volt. Oh. Uh, this one. Let's make this CAN setting, CAN device, Pro 600, CAN channel. Let's do this converter energy. And uh, it's raw, it's in millijoules. And um, we're going to call this one converter energy. And then let's throw another one in here. I'm only going to do a couple of these because you guys get the idea. Um, but if you want to monitor, whoops, keep doing that. Pro 600. CAN channel, let's do uh, battery. So this is the actual voltage that the MSD Pro 600 is seeing. So, um, you know, it, it should, you know, go up to, you know, it should be close to what your voltage is in the, uh, at the ECU. Otherwise, you got a wiring problem and you should watch one of my other videos. So uh, we'll call this one MSD voltage. And... Uh, now these, I'm going to show you one of the. I'm going to show you one of each of these. So what these do 
is miscounter. If a spark duration exceeds 255 microseconds, it tr triggers a miss. So what happens is you wind up running out of inputs pretty quick if you want to monitor all of this stuff. So I typically don't monitor the miss counter because we can watch spark duration. And if we watch spark duration, we know that if it goes through the roof, we've got a miss. So uh, we'll set this for spark duration, sensor type, raw, microsecond, 255. So um, also something I forgot to tell you, can serial on all the MSD Pro 600s, it's one. So that's simple. It's already pre-populated. This is in V5, but V6 is the same. I just haven't updated this car to uh, to uh, uh, V6 yet. Well, I will, but um, so we'll call this one cylinder one duration. And then let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. We'll call this one cylinder one efficiency. And this is going to be a can go configure can settings can device pro 600 and then efficiency number one so you get the idea you know how to do this uh now what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to find let's see if i've got this um this, let me just see if this is right I'll, yeah here we go okay so let's pull up in a data log um, I have to find it. It's going to, uh, what's this? There we go. Okay. So let's look for some data from the MSD. I don't think, I, I don't know if I've already got a pre configured in here, but, um, after you create all of your, all of those, those, uh, those inputs, you'll have the ability to come over here and, uh, look at them in your data log. So I figure I'll just show you what this looks like. Um, and it's, it's kind of uneventful because there was nothing wrong, you know, which is good, but, um, we scroll all the way back here and we've got miss counter spark period. Um, I think I ran out of room. I didn't have efficiency in here for this, this setup. So anyway, we'll just grab a couple of these, uh, and we'll look at them. We can look at MSD internal temperature. Uh, that's the actual temperature of the, um, of the, what's it called, the, the MSD box. So, you know, if it's like 120, you know, you get a problem. So this one will be the most, uh, spark period's typically the most colorful display, if you will. So we'll pull up all spark periods for one through eight and hit okay. There we go. Hopefully you guys know what you're doing with this stuff. Um, all right, so here we go. So let's close off all these. As you can tell, it all trends right along the same way. But this is the actual duration of return time. So uh, this run here, you can see, we don't have RPM in here, but you can see based off of our, um, our power table, right? If we go in here and we go here, 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 Look at that. There's our run. So you can see I rolled power up into this thing. Um, you know, 130 KPA, we had 100% power in it. And we can see that in the log. So this is giving us a uh, accurate representation of what, you know, what we, what we told it to do versus what it is doing. So there it is. There's just that small portion of the run just going up on the trans break. Uh, so you can see as it rolls up from 30, 50, 75, 100%. So it's 100% power by the time it's on the on the uh, on the chip. Let's do this. Let's throw RPM in here, so it's a little bit easier. There we go. So here it is coming up on the trans break. Uh, ignition energy is climbing with with boost and with RPM. So uh, that's kind of self-explanatory there. The uh, let's see, let's see the as ignition energy goes up. Uh, converter voltage also goes up. So, and let's see, internal temperature, 74 degrees. So we don't have a problem there. Now let's look at spark period. So this is a, this is a little bit of a voodoo thing. 
Um, you'll have to actually have a problem before you really understand what you're looking for. But uh, in this run, I don't have anything that'll that'll show a problem. Um, so what we're looking for is a spark period that jumps out at us and says, hey, you know, why? maybe you make a pass and, uh, and you're going down the racetrack and then out of nowhere, the thing just labors and lays over, right? Well, you could come here, look at your spark period and say, hey, my spark period is um, 200 microseconds. Well, there's a problem. So take a look at that. So take a look at that plug wire. Take a look at that spark plug. Take a look. I mean, you should be pulling plugs and reading them anyway. But um, take a look at the boots. Make sure that the uh, the plug was actually all the way on. Uh, typically, this will show up pretty quickly. Even down here, uh, you'll see this. You'll see spark period kind of jumping all over the place. So now the last thing I want to cover in this video is what you can do with um, advanced tables with with the MSD Pro 600. So if we go in here and we, let's see, no, I don't want to, there we go. So what we have now is a two ignition power offset. So we do this based off of a lot of things. If you just want to kill power, this is a good way, easy way to save, you know, for safety. So maybe you want to kill all the ignition power when you get 200 RPM away from the high chip. Um, so it just lays over. Um, I don't suggest doing that, but you know, it's, it's something that that's what you want. If that's what you want to do, you can do it. Uh, ignition power offset can also help clean up once it's on the chip and make it a little bit more calm. So you can do a X axis of, come on, honey, boost. And I hate, uh, map, sorry. And then RPM. So um, say you've got, maybe we set this to uh, 5,000 and um, this to 3,000. And say we're going to be on the chip um, at 4,000. And boost is going to be, you know, maximum we're on the chip with, with boost, say 20 pounds. And we can just fill these real values. So now... If we wanted to, we could, um, and this is the more complicated way of doing this in a 2D table, but we could at 4,000 RPM, uh, once it makes, say, six pounds of boost, we can subtract uh, 60%, right? So now we can offset ignition power while we're on the trans brake. And look, we can do this. Switch to enable. This table will activate when uh, T-brake launch is enabled. And when TPS is above 75%. So now we're on the trans brake and we reach 4,000 RPM and 6.7 pounds of boost and it starts knocking ignition energy out of it. Um, it'll help tighten up the, uh, the chip or the rev limiter. Uh, it, you can do a lot of stuff with this. So hopefully this is a pretty good overview on how all the different little nuances and functions of the Pro 600 work. Um, and uh, again, if you guys need any help with it, feel free to hit up our, you know, our business Facebook page, HCR Innovations, or um, our website, hcrinnovations.com, uh, or you can, uh, you know, send me an email. And if you have my phone number, don't call it. So hopefully this helps you guys. Have a good one.